Good day everyone. We have the honor to present to you our research studies entitled Mental Health Issues and Concerns as Experienced by Teachers in the Workplace, Gaps in Understanding the Untold Story. The authors are as follows. Yours truly, Ruby and Jay Caposano, the principal one of San Gabriel Three Elementary School, Joan T. Pakatang, and the master teacher two of San Gabriel Two Elementary School, Ilinita S. Veloso. For the introduction and rationale, mental health is emerging as a universal public health concern. There is a staggering number of people suffering from mental health issues and concerns in the country and millions of Filipinos suffering from mental health. Santiago 2017. Employees are vulnerable to this kind of problem. Business Mirror 2019. Enactment of Republic Act 11036, also known as Mental Health Act, which mandates educational institution to develop programs that geared towards the promotion of mental health. RA 11036. The lack of relevant data in the school level and the absence of program on mental health in the academic institution. For the statement of the problem, specifically this study would like to seek an answer to the following. What are the experiences of teachers relating to mental health issues and concerns? Emotional, physical, psychological. What are the gaps in understanding on mental health issues and problems? What can be proposed in the promotion of mental health in the workplace in the municip municipality of General Mariano Alvarez? For the key literature, one of four people in the world have been affected by mental health or neurological disorders at some point in their lives and among 450 million people currently suffering from such condition, WHO 2020. Mental health affected many employees. However, the problem is usually overlooked because disorders tend to be hidden at work with employers reluctant to help with lack of knowledge on what and how to do about it. Harvard Medical School. Mental health services in the Philippines are inaccessible and monetarily prohibitive, and beliefs about etiology and nature of mental illness are inconsistent with the medical model. Tuliao 2014. For methodology, first states, simple random sampling was used as the initial states. The 10 teachers for every school in the elementary were taken as responded for the survey conducted. Second stage, snowballing was used as a sample method for and five respondents were taken as informant for the interview. Validated survey questionnaire and open-ended interview questionnaire was used. Data that has been taken from the survey was tabulated and statistically analyzed using appropriate descriptive statistical treatment, the weighted mean and the standard deviation. Results of interview was made with transcription, coded, thematically analyzed, and triangulated. For the quantitative findings on the emotional aspect of mental health in relation to the experience of mental health problems in the workplace, Table 1 shows the result of the emotional experiences of teachers on mental health issues and concerns. The findings revealed that teachers experiences some emotional problems which include tiredness and loneliness with the mean of 4.02, feel overwork with the mean score of 4.48, and experience frustration and disappointment with the mean score of 3.4. However, teachers seldom experience anger and hopelessness of situation. For the psychological aspects, Table 2 shows that teachers experience psychological mental health related issues and concerns in the workplace, which includes stress with the mean score of 4.61, 
worries with the mean of 3.84, overthinking with mean score of 3.32, and standard deviation of 1.42. The teachers also expressed their experiences that they experienced getting drained with the mean score of 3.87 and standard deviations of 1.02. However, the teachers have no problems with concentrations and is mindful of their task. For the physical aspect, Table 3 shows that teachers experience different physical manifestations of mental health related issues and concerns in the workplace. Physical manifestations include fatigue, physical pains, pressure, tension, low energy, and lack of motivations which sometimes resulted to physical ailments. For the gaps in understanding, Table 4 shows the gaps in understanding experienced by teachers on mental health issues and concerns. Data revealed that teachers misunderstood mental health in terms of coping, etiology, and how it manifests as a problem. Table 5 shows the summary result of mental health related concerns of teachers in the three aspects, emotional, psychological, and physical. So table 5 shows the summary result of the survey conducted on the mental health related issues and concerns experienced by teachers in the workplace. The summary result revealed that teachers experiences emotional, psychological, and physical mental health mental health related issues and concerns in the workplace. Mental health related problems strongly manifest in the physical well-being of teachers with the mean score of 4.358 and standard deviations of 0 0.89. Similarly, the data revealed that the gaps in understanding mental health continue to persist with the mean score of 3.567 and standard deviations of 1.11. For the qualitative findings, based on the information taken from interview, the following findings were formulated. The mental health related problems manifest in the teacher's emotional, psychological, and physical well-being. In the emotional level, the teacher sometimes experiences emotional problems such as sadness and emotional loss. Critical findings reveal that most of the experiences of teachers are on the psychological level, experiencing stress, worries, and over fatigue, which affects their physical and emotional well-being. The lack of understanding about mental health and the aspect of coping, access to mental health, and etiology of problems are areas which need to be attended. For the conclusion, based on the given findings, it can be concluded that teachers are among the high numbers reported in the statistics to experience different forms of mental health related problems. The vulnerability of mental health concerns is due to work related pressures and the lack of attention given to mental health problems. Similarly, gaps in the understanding continue to exist as teachers have a very limited knowledge on mental health. Hence, the need to develop a programmatic intervention program is necessary to promote mental health awareness and to be able to help teachers and other individuals experiencing the same. For recommendation, based on the general findings and conclusion, the following recommendations are hereby suggested. Development of programmatic activities that geared towards the promotion and prevention of mental health. Examine the work conditions of teachers as the root cause of the problem. Access to mental health services should be made available and affordable for everyone. Mental health assessment should be part of the annual assessment for teachers. This is the end of our presentation. Once again, this is Ruby and Jacob Pusano. This is John T. Pakatan. And this is Elenita S. Biloso. Thank, Thank you for, for bearing with us. us.